Welcome back everyone, Michael here with Offshore Citizen. Today I'm going to discuss what I'm calling the money laundering boogeyman. And this is something I've observed and found an article on recently. It was a little bit of a study that was done. I posted it on Twitter so you can go and check that out on my Twitter. And we're going to dive into a little bit today just about, you know, is money laundering a problem? How does it affect you? The pros and the cons, the costs, etc. We're going to dive in. Before we do that, if you haven't already, welcome. Uh, Thank you for coming to the channel. Please hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. Really appreciate your support. If you are interested at all in the subjects of international structuring, either for yourself personally or for your business, please reach out to me. You can book a call, calendly.com forward slash Michael dash Rosmer, link in the description below, or you can check out our websites, offshorecitizen.net, offshorecapitalist.com. You can send us a message through there. Okay. So basically there's this thing, I made some post about it a while ago that AML, that's anti-money laundering, is going to kill banking. And I strongly believe this. In a world, it's so hypocritical to me that in a world that's you know, talking lots about racial injustice, et cetera, they're bringing in anti-money laundering rules and making them stronger and stronger. You have kind of just increasing levels of this stuff. Because who gets hurt the most by this? The least fortunate people, okay? You go and you want to hire some employee in some part of Africa and you want to send them a card because, hey, listen, banking isn't stable there, so you know, it'd be great if they could take money out of an ATM, but oh, lo and behold, they can't pass KYC rules, right? This is just nonsense. It's complete and utter nonsense. And so it happens that there was some studies done on this because there is a huge cost of anti-money laundering. And the question is, what's the benefit? Now, in my opinion, what has happened in the world? And this is just like this constant, this is culture of safetyism that I have a big problem with. I think the culture of safetyism is really dangerous. We've been told this story about, oh my gosh, there's this terrifying thing, you're at risk, right? We have to protect against this horrible threat. And this was probably biggest in the wake of 9-11, right? It's kind of apparent why. But the truth is, really, was there so much danger because there wasn't anti-money laundering rules back then? Mm. Was it that, hey, listen, you have this big concern about all this massive amount of terrorist financing that's going on? Mm. Skeptical. Skeptical about most of that. And it turns out I'm probably right to be skeptical about it because according to the studies, only like 0.2% of all of the uh, activities that take place actually get stopped by the rules. The cost of implementing those rules is a factor of 100 greater than the benefit that they give. That's pretty ridiculous, right? just ridiculous and yet we're doing more of it not less of it and in my opinion what's really going on is that it's an excuse for control it's really not about money laundering that really the risks of money laundering are not that great the concerns about you know all the financing of crime or proceeds of crime flowing etc which yes it happens of course is really not that big a problem that instead they dislike when people don't pay taxes and they're in a situation where they just want, want more control. And it's pretty much as simple as that. They don't like that people can skirt their rules, etc. And so they hide it under the guise of money laundering. Oh, by it's these criminals. These criminals are so bad, these terrorists, that's even better, right? If you can say, hey, listen, there's problems with the terrorists. The terrorists are coming. You can run the stats and you can see that the likelihood of dying of some sort of terrorism, even in you know, the most terrorist infested parts of the world is typically a lot lower than the cause, the chance of dying in a car accident, right? And so, you know, is it really a big concern? Obviously, we don't want terrorism, right? Obviously, we don't want these sorts of things. But that being said, come on, like, put it in proportion. And then, you know, all this, like, once in a while, you get things that are very out of control, right? Were the drug cartels in Colombia out of control and a big problem? Yeah, of course, that was a big problem, right? But was that a function of a lack of stuff like money laundering rules? Mm, probably not, right? It's really interesting to me that we haven't had that problem in Japan. We haven't had that problem in lots of parts of the world. And yet, did they have strong rules protecting against that? Mm, not, not so much. More, uh, there's culture, there's organization of uh, uh, systems to prevent those things, et cetera, et cetera. And so, to me, it's, it's just very hypocritical. I, I think it's a, it's a big problem. And so 
this is one reason why it's probably worth thinking about uh, different ways that you can streamline systems. So let's talk a little bit about that just in terms of the reality is uh, this is a waste. It's stupid, but hey, listen, when was that not the case for a lot of things in government? So how does this apply to you? Uh, you need to kind of realize that unfortunately the world that we live in is one that puts a whole bunch of AML type stuff on us. And as much as we might not like it, our privacy is largely being infringed on, it's, it's largely gone. And as a result, you need to find some ways of dealing with this. And just being prepared, realizing the types of things that are necessary are often useful. What does this mean? Well, really you have prepared documentation. Uh, you can pretty well put in place systems that can help to track information and kind of show where things are coming from. So having a history for yourself is useful. Being able to identify your uh, identity is useful. Being to, able to identify the nature of your business is useful. Being able to identify where you're from is useful. Okay? So all of those things are helpful and to the greater extent that you can do that, the better. In the meantime, you know, please vote against these crazy politicians who are putting in nonsense rules that it would be one thing if they actually helped, right? But the stats suggest they don't and unfortunately the people who are hurt the most are small business owners, are you know, just you know, the little guys. It's not like Microsoft and Apple and Google are negatively affected by this stuff. It's other people. And in the meantime, you know, there's a big business opportunity probably for those who want to capitalize on it. So good on those guys. Anyway, I hope that helps. Uh, you know, just kind of a, a general thought here, something to be aware of for educating ourselves about what's really going on, which is there's not really a big problem. They've sensationalized the problem in order to, uh, in order to push an agenda, policy, etc., and that the risks or reward of those policies are really bad. At the same time, that probably creates a huge, huge, huge opportunity for businesses that can find ways of being safe while at the same time not taking on all the bureaucracy. So that's also an interesting business opportunity. I hope that helps. I'm gonna look forward to seeing you guys on the next video.